We have actually a graphic that can show you some of those long-term health complications that preemies can have, and those would be autism, intellectual disabilities, cerebral palsy, uh, lung problems, and then vision and hearing loss. Uh, we have the doctor now at our 3D image wall, and doctor, I believe you have the example of cerebral palsy. So can you tell us what we're looking at, please? Well, what we're looking at here is a diagram of the brain. And here we could see that when there is damage to the white matter and there is uh, damage to uh, the ventricles, secondary to uh, ventricular leukoplasia, we're going to have damage to the brain. You have to understand that in general, when we talk about prematurity, one of the parts of the body that is not developed is the brain. The brain and the lungs tend to develop later in life, so the early the baby is, the higher the chances of having damage to any part of the brain. The, um, this will cause increased chances of autism in general and in this um, younger population. There is increased chances of cerebral palsy as well as lung conditions. We have known, we have improved a lot of things in neonatal um, intensive care units to uh, in decrease mortality. But the quality of life, it does get affected significant by, to these children, secondary to the conditions that affect mainly the brain and the lungs. And when these uh, babies, I should say preemies, are affected with these health, health risks, they are immediately taken normally to the NICU, right, doctor? Yes, well, these babies uh, are delivered and, and immediately taken to an NICU unit. Now, these conditions or the damage is not going to be something that we're going to be able to tell right away. Mm -hmm. And uh, needless to say that there is a very small premature babies who do very well, and unfortunately, but the majority of them do tend to have some sequels to, uh, in long-term life. And in the NICU, I mean, I've been there before, it's just a, an, an army of nurses and doctors doing everything humanly possible to help all these babies. It's, it's amazing to see. Well, I think that in general, in obstetric, one of the things that we have advanced over the years is the development of the NICU and how well we're able to treat these babies now mm -hmm. as opposed to many years ago. And that's one of the big things that we have in this country as opposed to other countries in the developed in the world. Uh, even though the obstetrical care might be exactly the same, when you have a high-risk pregnancy, when you have a premature baby, there's no place in the world those babies survive better than the United States. Mm -hmm.